Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my Stampin' Up! Studio. Today I'm going to show you another card in my series of things made from the products in the upcoming 2021 catalog. So I've got a few now. If you don't have a catalog, if you don't have a demonstrator that's sending you one, message me if you're in the United States and I'd be happy to send you one. If you're one of my customers and you've purchased since February, then I will be sending them out next week. I found out that they're coming to me early next week, so I'll probably get them in the mail Wednesday, Thursday, around that time. So be looking for them. You'll have a, a little fun pack of some stuff. You'll get some of the papers that I have, just a little snippet of them. I don't can't give you a lot or I won't have any left to work with, um, but you will have those. If you haven't bought anything from me and you want it out in that first mailing, I have a couple of spares. I can order some more, so it won't it won't take that long to get another packet or two of them. So if you want one and you want to get it soon, then just go to my order my website and place any size of order. And along with that, in May, as well as getting the free catalog, you get my free card class. So if you purchase in May, I'll stick the card class in with your catalog. So that'll be fun. You get the supplies for five cards. And you also get an invite to our upcoming sneak peek Facebook group event that we do. And you'll definitely want to do that because that's a lot of fun. So I'm going to be using the Forever Flourishing Bundle. But before I do that, I'm just going to real quick show you. These are the cards that I have tutorials up for so far on YouTube, in case you've missed any of them. This one is in with my unboxing video. It's not really an unboxing, but kind of. Um, this is the Birds and Branches. I'm still not real clear on the names. It also uses the world map, but I didn't embossing folder. I didn't put it through the embossing machine. So that's a fun one. And it's got some of the shimmer paint and some 3D things. It's kind of real 3D. Then this is a shaker card with the Mason jar. This was the alternate version that I started out with, but this is the one that I demoed. And then the one that posted on Saturday, which is not, hasn't happened yet, is this one here. I really like this one. It's a nice bold one. So for a simple Sunday card, I'm going to just show you a really simple card today. And a happy Mother's Day to you all. So this one's going to use this beautiful paper. And I love the paper. But I love the stamps. And I love the dies. The dies aren't even making an appearance. I, they're all over my table because I've cut them because I wanted to use them. There's just too much pretty in this stamp set to get it all on one card. So you, you're going to see it on a bunch of things in the future because there's a lot that I can do with it. That's the one good thing when they give us a pre-order and we can't get everything is it forces us to do a lot with what we do have. So look how pretty this is. It's beautiful color selection and really pretty paper. So I decided it's Sunday, it's Mother's Day. Y'all don't want to be sitting in front of, well, maybe you do. Maybe you want to tell your kids to go take a hike. <laughs> you just watch the video. Um, but this video is going to be fast. So I'm going to use the Forever Fern. And these stamps, so pretty, so, so pretty. And so again, I tried too much. I was trying to make a wreath, and I will eventually make a wreath. It's so pretty. But then when I went for simple, um, and I wanted to use this piece of paper because it's my favorite piece of paper, this side and this side. So my two favorite pieces of paper are on the same one. I hate when they do that to me. Um, but I'm just gonna use some white cardstock and I've cut it um, long ways because I'm gonna tie some ribbon around it. I want the ribbon to go around the whole card. So just fold it this way. And then our stamping is gonna be real simple. I pulled the biggest leaf out and this is soft sea foam. I just pulled the colors from the paper. So with the soft sea foam, I just want one sprig of the leaves, but I don't want this giant stem. So just aim it so some of the stem goes off the side of your card. See, then you don't get that huge stem because we don't need all of it. There's still plenty and a little bit on my table. But look how pretty. This is one of those stamps that does the stippling and every image that you stamp is just beautiful. That's why I wanted all the leaves because there's a lot of leaves. I wanted all the leaves on my card. But it was a less is more card. 
And then we're gonna go, there's several nice sayings in here, but I just wanted this to be a friend's card. I may actually remake it. I've said that a couple of times on these videos. I may make it to be my Mother's Day card because I haven't made it yet. I have several cards I need to make. Um, and I need to get some out in the mail tomorrow. And this is a fast one. So some pe somebody's gonna get this. It says, to a friend that makes me smile. And I've done this one in the Pretty Peacock. And then here's, I love when sets come with the little dots. A long time ago, like way back in the day. Oh, now I'm not going to remember the name of the set. We had a little set and it had four little stamps and one of them was dots. And I used mine so much that I wore the sticker off because I used it on everything. Because we didn't have a lot of folders. We didn't have a lot of stuff. But with this, I'm just going to stamp and kind of twist it around and turn the directions. And I'm not stamping all the way. I'm not pressing hard. I'm just going to use it till the ink's gone. And not everywhere because I want the card to be white. But I want this stipple effect. Just like it got kind of some artsy on it. So that's all the stamping. Nice and simple. And you could practically stop there with just a little bit of ribbon. But you know why stop when you have all this new stuff you need to use. So I'm going to use... These embossing folders are designed to go in our new mini machine. They'll work in your big machine, but they are designed for our new mini, which will come out sometime this year. You'll see it in the catalog, um, but due to COVID and everything, it's not going to be ready for release. So they're half size, and we've had half size ones before. So if you have the half size, they'll fit. Um, they're thinner. They're not 3D, so you do need a little bit different of a sandwich. So... With most of our things, um, you just need one plate or a blue plate. With this one, you're going to need two of the plates. And I want to put this in here. And I want it to go so it just goes over the top of the fold. Because often it doesn't get the, the fold stops it. And then I want it to go over so it's just going to catch the words. And you always put your folder through. You want to make sure it's straight these little leaves. You get two of them in these packs of mini folders. You always put it through um, crease side first because if you don't, you can bust your folders. So if you find that sometimes your folders are breaking, it's because you're sending them through not bend side first. And when it goes through at the end, it puts too much pressure on them. This way, there's not a whole lot of pressure there at the beginning. So we're gonna send that through. And see when it does that on your fold, that's not good. But here, it's beautiful. How pretty is that? And see, it's just enough here that when it folds over, it goes all the way to the top, but just a minuscule there because you don't want it to be on the back of your card. And then I'm going to take these two pieces here, and I'm going to put them in the same way. So they're cut little, a little less than an inch. And again, you want to make sure they're straight because this is a straight a lot of our folders, it doesn't matter. This one's straight, but I want when I flip one of these over later for them to have op opposite patterns. Put this in there. And again, there's no, there's no um, precision or the middle plate in here. It's just two of the um, cutting plates. And that's what you'll need for your sandwich if you're using this die machine. So now when we flip these over, one's gonna be going up and one's going to be going over. Move that out of the way. And we're almost done. So I'm going to put one, the one with the beautiful flowers out. And just put it almost to the edge, but you want a little bit of the white to show. Actually, I'm going to start at the top in case these aren't cut quite as long. Because, you know, sometimes you're five and a half. They are. They're good. But in case I needed to trim it. And then I'm going to do this one. There's a little piece of... a little piece of paper. There we go. Now it's stuck on my nail. Put this here. 
And then I've got two of the ribbons. So this one is out of the Forever Flour Flourishing, it's not Flourishing Ferns. I looked up the name of the bundle right before I started and I did say it. It's Forever Fern is the name of the bundle. I don't remember now the name of the suite because you know, Flourishing something. Um, there's too many new names. And then this is one of our in color ribbons. Now Jade is one of the colors that is in the paper, but we don't have our new in color inks yet. Um, so I didn't have the ink to use, but I do have this ribbon and it's the Jade. So for it, I'm going to tie it around here. And it's a nice way to, you don't have to get all of the, um, here, let me be your therapist. You don't have to get everything all right at the start. Um, I know for some of us, that's like, what? I don't have to have everything right at the very beginning. And so when they don't let us get it all right at the very beginning, then you make do with what you have. So we don't have any of the inks, but we do have some of the papers. And I thought about mounting this on some of the Jade cardstock, but doesn't really need it. I am going to mount my other one on the Jade cardstock and I'll show you why in a minute. And then I'll post that on my blog so you can see it a little bit of a difference because when I do these mock-ups before I do this sometimes the first one's perfectly fine and I love it um, and other times I've messed up but I don't I hate to just waste everything that I've done up to that point so I'm not gonna oh, there's probably enough on this one to tie a bow but here I'm gonna take a little bit of this this is really pretty gold trim it kind of reminds me of miniature stuff curtain cording so take this and loop it this way stick it under here and then take your two ends and pull them see it's how it's threading like that and then, so now it's holding on and then that's enough to get it there to tie your little bow. So you don't have to try to get a bow centered on the thing because that's already done it for you. Right here, let's see. My other one, I didn't have enough. I didn't tie, pull enough to have a bow, but on this one, I think I do. If I don't, then I'll go back and do it the other way. Doing them on camera when your head's over the top is not the easiest thing in the world. Especially when your ribbon's up just long enough. I'll try one more time and if I can't get it, I'm gonna do it the way I did it before. Nope, I'm not going to do it that way. So just take your gold and make the little bow out of your gold. It's a fun look anyways. I was just doing it the other way so I didn't waste the ribbon. So now we have this gold here. And you don't want the, the bow part too big because you want to fray this so it's nice and frayed and wispy. And then just cut this so it's nice and short. So the fray really shows. And you have a nice, simple card. Now the reason this one is going to end up being a panel and I'll mount it on another card is because of this. Because I didn't put the stickers on my words and I stamped them really crooked. So I'm gonna just cut this apart and then I'll mount this on something else. But you know, I didn't wanna waste all that work. And I did the words at the very, not at the very end, but I had already done a bunch of this and then I decided to add the words, not good. So there you go, quick, simple Sunday card. And I hope you like this suite and be watching for more of it. There's these fun little hoops that are a part of it to make the, to make some wreaths. There's all these beautiful dies that I got out and have been cutting all kinds of stuff. There is this gold paper. Here you can see, I, I took everything out because it's all here to play with, but um, then I decided to go for simple. So here's a simple card, nice and simple, and I will get back with it. I do have the old world map suite still, and I have some more of this, and then I'm gonna start recycling through and doing some more of them. My daughter has the one suite, but I, I did do it first, so I can't go back over the same way. But if you have any questions, if you wanna place an order, if you place the order quick, then maybe I can get you 
I know I have at least three or four extra catalogs from what's coming to what I need to mail out. So if you get your order placed over um, the next day or two, then you'll get your catalog mailed out sometime next week and you can start looking at making your list. Everybody have a great day. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.